This is a walk of faith, not by sight, but by faith. The righteousness that we speak of, of Jesus Christ, is by faith. If you trust in the Lord, you'll never be disappointed. Everything that we have in Him is built on our love, our trust, and the faith that we have in the Son of God. And we have this faith without necessarily seeing Him in bodily form. There are those that can boast that they have seen the Lord Jesus in bodily form. And certainly those disciples, as we're going through the Gospel of John, they were those that were uh, had the benefit of seeing Him with their natural eyes, touching the Lord Jesus with their natural hands. And so they had this advantage, if it can be called an advantage, to know Jesus after the flesh. But now we know Him no more after the flesh, but we know Him by the Spirit. And we are growing up into His same nature. And we have that nature through the Spirit, but we look for that nature of the Lord Jesus Christ, that life of the Spirit, that perfect faith of the Son of God, who believed all things that came from the Father and walked in them in perfection. We're growing up into that same mind, and that's why all of the gifts of the ministry, all of the teaching, all of the prophecy, all of the laying on of hands, all these things are done. The giving of the good news, the instruction of the Holy Spirit, that we might come together as one new man, many members, all having our own specific calling and election, but walking together in the unity of the Son of God, the unity of the mind of Christ, that we might display together the love, the grace, and the mercy of our God. And we do it by faith, by walking with the Lord by faith. And we see this in the scripture. We're going to continue where we left off here in John, the gospel of John. And we're coming to the end. Thank God, gone through the whole book. You can go back and watch the other videos that we've done from the very first beginning there in John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that Word became a man in flesh and blood in Jesus Christ. And we have beheld by the Spirit the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And that's what we've been covering now for over a year on all of these videos, this series of the Gospel of John. Feel free to go back and watch any of the ones that you've missed. Those that are just joining us, that are coming on and watching some of these for the first time, we thank you for joining us. Feel free to share these. This is strictly for the purpose of sharing the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, the gospel of the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God is indeed within you. And we recognize and understand this by a revelation that God has put his word in our heart by faith, and that is swallowing up all death, first in the people that trust in him, until that same life, that same resurrected life of the Lord Jesus through the living word of God swallows up all death in the earth. Where we left off here, John 20, 24. Now Thomas called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, we have seen the Lord. So he said to them, unless I see his hands, the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And this is the tremendous blessing that we have today. That none of us, or maybe very few of us, have ever seen Jesus appear in bodily form. 
as he had in the body of Jesus of Nazareth. Though we know according to the scripture and we believe according to the faith that God has given us that he indeed had that body and he walked and he did all those things that are recorded in this book, in this book of John, in this record that John wrote of the life and the ministry of Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. But we haven't seen all these things and yet we believe and we haven't maybe haven't heard his voice audibly spoken to us though there are those that have and yet we believe that he speaks and we hear him by the spirit he ministers to our heart he enlightens our mind he gives us hope and faith and love and wisdom and he's brought to us righteousness all these things are being done by the Spirit. And we are blessed and you are blessed because even though you haven't seen him physically and haven't heard his voice in an audible manner, you believe and you trust in him and you put your trust more in those things of the Spirit than you do of the flesh. And so you are indeed blessed. This little verse sums this up over in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Those of you that aren't walking closely with the Lord, that would seem like a strange word. Though I believe most, maybe all that are listening to this, do have a, a walk with the Lord. But we're growing in that walk where we become more and more tuned to the voice and the things of the Spirit. So that we trust more that which we hear by the voice of God in the Spirit through Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit then many times we trust those things that we hear with our audible ears or, or audibly with our natural physical ears. We could hear somebody say that they have no faith in God and when somebody's sick and dying that they're going to die because of the medical condition that's been pronounced by the doctors and that's very real many times. It, it, is, it is a true word as far as the natural is concerned. But we turn believing the word of God that God through Jesus Christ is our healer and that by his stripes we're healed and that we have power with God to reach out holy hands unto those that are sick and to lay hands on the sick and that they'll recover because of the prayer of faith according to the word of God and we believe these things and we see the Lord answer prayer by faith just read something this morning about a dear sister who had been praying so long to see a friend healed of cancer and they saw that they saw the Lord do the work. The Lord can use the doctors. The Lord can use medicine. But he can also do things supernaturally. And we have seen that. We've seen that. But even if you haven't seen it, trust in the Lord. Walk by faith. Not by what you see with your natural eyes. Not why, what you can understand with your natural senses. But trust God by the Spirit. Because this is what all of creation is groaning for. Is that manifestation of the reality of God that they haven't yet seen in the natural. But there is an inner sense in the creation that there's something hidden greater than what we've seen. And that is what we enter into today by faith until we see the manifestation of it. Romans 8.22 speaks of this. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also who had the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. The Lord is teaching us patience through faith and hope. And love. And of course, the greatest of these is love. And love, perfect love, casts out all fear. And this is the love that's been put into our heart. We've received the love of God through faith in Jesus Christ that causes us to trust in Him more than what we see with our natural eyes. Oh, we see these bodies are corruptible and are decaying. And as we grow old and grow older, we see our friends and our family that have grown old. We see some of them passing off the scene because their body has corrupted. And we look at that and death seems to be so final. What hope is there for anything beyond this life? And yet by faith, we believe the word of God that Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And that this is only the beginning of life. That this body of corruption will indeed be swallowed up by the immortality of of the resurrected Lord, 
of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that came not only to save our soul, but also our body. And we receive those things by faith. Even we with, that have the first fruit of the Spirit, we groan within ourselves to see this body of corruption redeemed and made completely whole and perfect, even like unto the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. We trust in these things. We believe in these things. We believe the, the true report, the Word of God, and we speak that which we hear by the Spirit by faith. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. Verse 3, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. My friends, we know that everything that was created came out from God. He spoke the world into existence. Again, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This was the word that created the heavens and the earth. All things that are seen were created by this invisible word of God. You can't see a word that somebody speaks. It has no outer substance, and yet there's substance in that word. There's creative power in the word of God. Everything that is seen, everything that can be discerned by the natural senses came from the word of God. And this is the word of God that we believe, the word of faith, that Jesus Christ is Lord and King of all, and that he has come into the world to save the world, to redeem his children, to bring us out of the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. This is the good report that we put our faith in, we put our hope in. This is the same faith that the elders retain, they, they obtained a good report by this word of faith, the word that they heard from God, the word that was spoken by the mouths of the prophets, that same word of the Holy Spirit. They received it, they believed it, and they walked according to it. And so today, as you believe the word of God, as you trust with all your heart in the word of the Lord, and don't lean on your own understanding, the understanding of flesh, but in every way you acknowledge that his word is true, he will lead you in the path of righteousness because righteousness comes by faith. Faith in who? Faith in the Son of God who loved you and gave himself for you. 2 Corinthians 4, 16, Therefore we do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day, and we believe that by faith. 17, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. We believe that by faith. Verse 18, While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. This is why we can go through all that we go through with the joy and the peace of God, walking in the kingdom of God, which is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. This makes us odd in this world. It makes you odd, beloved, if you believe the true report of God and you can rejoice even in your trials, even in your suffering, knowing that they're working something greater in you than that can be seen, that you can rejoice and trust that God has given you eternal life through Jesus Christ, through the death, burial, and resurrection of your Lord, you're going to live forever with him. That is great faith. That is the true kingdom of God that is within you. And that is the word that's destined, up, destined to swallow up all the lies and hypocrisy of the serpent. First Peter also, uh, Peter also speaks of this. First Peter, first chapter, six verse. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen you love, 
Though now you do not see him yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And so it was true, and it is true, that those first apostles, even Thomas, who was unbelieving, he had the benefit of reaching out and touching the Lord. And the Lord didn't want him to remain in unbelief, but he wanted him to believe. So he said, here, feel my body. Uh, touch, the, Put your hand in my wounds and in my hands where the nail prints were. Go ahead, be believing. But know this of a truth, that those that follow you in the faith, they won't have this so-called advantage of feeling me after the flesh, but they're going to have to feel after me according to faith, by the Spirit. And they're going to be even blessed in a greater way because they're going to have to trust by faith in that word of righteousness, the word that we've been born again of. And they're going to rejoice even in their trials. And that's where we are today. That's where you are today. If you're suffering, if you're going through hardship, and, and blessed are you if it's for righteousness sake, going through what you're going through because you put your trust in the living God, the one who raises the dead, the one who sanctifies us and separates us unto himself so that we might be a living testimony of the grace and the mercy of God. Back to where we left off, John 20, 30th verse, finishing up this chapter. And truly Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in the book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. What a blessed testimony we have in the scripture. There's a benefit in reading, studying, rehearsing the word of God, that which was written down for our benefit. All of the acts of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the words, all of his teaching, but we're going to do more than just read and rehearse that which was written, but the Lord is writing upon our heart. We're becoming the, the living testimony, the living letter of the Lord, so that we become the Lamb's book of life. That which is written in our heart is that which God is writing. The love letter to hum humanity is being not just read but it's being manifested through a people that are walking it out. That's why you have to walk by faith and not by sight. You have to walk according to the Lamb of God who's leading you and guiding you in all truth. You have to walk in accord with the mind of the Spirit. All of these things are done by faith until there's a full manifestation of all those things that are hidden. And beloved, it's it is increasing day by day. The manifestation of the righteousness of Christ, the more that we give ourselves to the faith of the Son of God, the more we see the reality of these things in a, a manifest way out in the open. We desire to see the righteousness of God revealed. We'll first see Him by the Spirit, and then you're going to see Him operating out here in the world. That's where heaven and earth meet together. Heaven and earth have kissed each other. Heaven and earth become the new creation. And that's what Jesus Christ was. All God, all man, made perfect in one. Praise God. And he has made us his many-membered body in the earth so that we might manifest his glory. And it's him that's doing the work but we're co-workers together with him. We give the praise and the glory unto the Lord. We bless you today. We're going to finish up in uh, the next chapter, finish up this book, praise God, and we'll go on to something else. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>